Let's go David, Marty, and then Bob. Go ahead, David. David Caravello, NASCAR.com. Uh, Jimmy, from a driver's perspective, how much of saving fuel is managing the pedals, and, and is that a, a difficult thing at all to teach yourself given how counterintuitive it seems? Yeah, I mean, it really is a, a odd situation to be in, and it becomes much more manageable and, and uh, relaxed situation when guys around you are doing the same. When we started that run, I thought we were a lap short. Um, we, we, they, I should say, Chad and, and Greg calculated fuel mileage on the pit box at X pace. We knew we had a window that we could run as hard as we could. Then we had to start saving. So we ran. I tried to get to the lead. I couldn't do it. Then we started saving. And I watched Tony kind of drive away and, and Matt kind of maintain. Once Matt started saving fuel and backed up to me, then I was comfortable to save fuel. And I think I saw the 39 catch me, but he only got so close and he kind of stalled out and was saving fuel. And once that happened, I'm like, okay, you know, we're all in the same boat, but the 14 still driving away. I'm like, how in the world? There's no way he's going to run out. But he's great at, uh, you know, saving fuel. And I think they did a good job um, with jetting and the carburation of the race car going into the race. They had better mileage than we did, period, um, as we got home and looked at all the data and how long they could go on fuel. So he had a smaller deficit to make up. and. Get, get a nice, comfortable lead and really started saving well. From your perspective, is it all about how hard and easy you are off the throttle? There are multiple philosophies in how to do it. Um, some people, it, naturally you think the more you're at wide open throttle, the, uh, the more fuel you burn. But the way the carburetors work, it, there's different pumps and in, in, uh, secondaries and things that go on. Once you get a certain places with a throttle pedal, it's dumping a ton of fuel. So some say, wide open as short as possible, shut the engine off. Others say, leave the engine running, run half throttle, never get to wide open. They're really, I mean, it's tough to science it out, and we don't go to a test session and dedicate, you know, three, four hours on figuring it out. Uh, maybe we should. Maybe that's some, an area we need to focus on. But uh, you just throw everything you can at it. And I, as a driver, base my fuel savings, I feel like there's two or three levels of it that I can do based on how animated Chad is. If he's like, man, we got to save, well, you got to do it all. Shut engines off. <laughs> if he's saying, ah, you know, it's this or that, you need a half a lap, then you can race differently. So that's how we judge it. All right, we're going to go Marty, Bob, do you have a question? This gentleman here and then end with Shannon. Shannon will be the last one. Go ahead. Marty Smith, ESPN. Jimmy, at certain points of the year, it seems like uh, – you guys race against the same guys because you kind of have found similar levels of speed. Early in this year, Tony Stewart didn't have that speed. In the last month or so, he has. You're racing around him more up front. So that said, how much more of a threat for, as a championship contender do you feel like the 14 team is as opposed to the way you may have felt about them two or three months ago? For me... I feel like, I have felt like if the 14 makes the chase, he's a threat. Um, I know the equipment he's in. We all know what Tony's capable of. I know Darian very well. Uh, I think, kind of separating us all out, but I think we all could say those are, are facts that we believe in. And once he made the chase, we all knew he's going to be a factor. And, and within, after leaving last weekend, I thought it's just so wild how you know, two or three races prior to him coming into the chase, there's one energy and, and one feel of what's going on, and then he goes out and wins the opener, and and now he's you know championship threat all of a sudden. He's always been there. You know, every track is different, every weekend's different, and it is so tough to manage the ten races and to be good at all ten tracks. There are different sizes, different challenges, different tires. You know, there's so many different things that go on that um, it's it's amazing to see when a team can link together. You know, a five zero average or a seven zero, whatever whatever that number is, and you need to be the champion. Man, it is tough to do. And in two three weeks time, it can change. You can be the hero and then be the zero. Right, we're gonna go, Bob. What's your name, sir? That's right, Rich. I'm sorry, Rich, and then Shannon. Uh, Bob Parker, Scene Daily. Um, you won at Talladega, so did you not want the rules to change, or what do you think, or what did Chad <laughs> tell you how things will change at Talladega? Um, I, I think that with the two rules, it will. it's a step to make us pass more. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to stay connected as longer, and then any time we put a bigger plate on the cars, it allows for a larger closing rate, um, you know, more opportunities to pass with more power. 
with that said, I, I don't think that the changes are large enough to have us not push. Um, that threshold for pushing, the grip level is still so high at the racetrack that I don't think it's going to separate us yet. Um, but it, it should make for more passing. Uh, we, we see that more with the larger plate. And then the fact that we can't stay together, we're going to be um, changing. I don't think we stay together as long. We'll be changing out more often, which could lead to us being in a big pack like some of the fans want to see. Um, but only, you know, we'll get down there and see what happens. And I don't care what the rules are. I, I learned a long time ago to stop worrying about that stuff. I'll just go. Just win. Just go. Okay. Just save gas. That's right. Save gas. Go ahead, Rick, and then we'll end with Shannon. Jimmy Rich Thompson, Boston Herald. Does this 12 driver field kind of feel like an 11 on one against you, being the guy everybody wants to take down? No, I don't. I don't see it that way. Um, you know, it, it, sometimes um, I guess every team and driver builds uh, thought process around something and tries to motivate their team around whatever it is. You know, we all have those pep talks. You probably see in, in football and all that stuff takes place in these transporters as well where you rally your team around a thought in, or a direction and everybody's in on it. And we could be that, that uh, focal point for a lot of teams. But for us, what we've done over the last five years is behind us. We're in today. We're, and that's how this team has always operated. We've got to worry about what we're doing today and, and do our best job today. And if we do it right over the next ten weeks, you know, we have a shot at being a champion. So we, we know that the past is the past, and it's all about today. Final question. Uh, a lot of us are asking how fuel mileage may play into this year's championship, but I was just reminded that Denny Hamlin was on the losing end of that fuel mileage situation last year yeah. at Phoenix. How would things have been different for you guys going into Homestead had that not happened to the 11? Um, man, it's so hard to know what momentum does what would do in that situation i mean when you look at the results and where we finished versus the 11 i'm not I, I don't know if the math would show us still as a champion or not um be, you know so so i look at that and say well maybe maybe things would still be the same but then there is an argument that momentum and uh we saw how unhappy denny was and i'm sure there was was something internally that that lived and went on to the racetrack in homestead maybe led to a, a worse qualifying effort in a race and all that it's just so hard to quantify it um, but I guess the math would maybe tell the story uh, in what it is. But this year, I think we, we'll see fuel mileage play a larger role in the championship than, than we have in years past. When you mentioned Phoenix, it's now repaved, and we're there for a tire test. You can't wear the tire out on these new, this new asphalt they bring. So it's going to be a fuel mileage race. Um, Talladega, to a certain degree, will be here, will be for sure. Uh, we have a lot of tracks with very low tire wear, which will promote um, fuel savings in, in fuel mileage races. Thank you so much, Jimmy, and good luck oh. this weekend.